this morning's horror crash on the N1 near Prince Albert, in which 20 people were killed, has been described as a tragedy, and the police minister has attributed the decline of cash in transit heists to cooperation between police and private security companies. Amusiso Akhadebo with the latest news update. Western Cape Transport Minister Robin Kalal has described this morning's horror crash on the N1 near Prince Albert, in which 20 people were killed, as a tragedy that has shaken the province. A truck and two minibus taxis were involved in the pileup. Kalal says while road deaths in the province have been brought down by 23% in the past year, accidents with high fatalities continue to happen. Carlisle says his department is consulting with experts to further reduce these tragedies. We already are focused on this in that we have not had a bus accident now for nearly two years. So I think we've got the buses mainly sorted out. But the taxi accidents continue to be a massive problem. I'm working continuously with Santaco and with Slochomela, their uh, safety campaign. But we're going to have to go into them and say, what is everything that causes these crashes and what can we do to prevent them? Two suspected drug mules have been arrested at the Cape Town International Airport. Police say the men, thought to be Congolese, arrived on a flight from Brazil via Qatar. The drugs were found during routine luggage checks. The men were taken to hospital for x-rays and other checks on the contents of their stomachs. Police spokesperson November Philander. The luggage was searched and police found a photo frame containing 200 grams of cocaine with an estimated street value of more than 57,000 rand. The men were then taken to hospital for x-rays where they were positively tested for swallowing bullets containing drugs. At this stage, they are still in the hospital for doctors to remove the swallowed drugs. They are due to appear in the double court soon. The man accused of trying to abduct an 18-year-old girl outside a Florida high school has been denied bail by the Rudaport Magistrates Court west of Johannesburg. The case against Mohammed Adams has been postponed until Wednesday next week. Adams was arrested for trying to abduct the girl outside her school, De Burger, last month. The Florida high school is the same one that was attended by 16-year-old learner Luis Daval, who had been abducted a week earlier. Her burnt body was found on a farm in Machalisburg later that day. Daval's abduction and murder played an important part in the prosecution's argument for Adams to be denied bail. And lastly, Police Minister Natim Teto has attributed the decline of cash in transit heists to cooperation between police and private security companies. The latest crime figures show that cash in transit heists have dropped dramatically over the past year. Police say there has also been a 12% decline in robbery with aggravating circumstances in the same period. Bank robberies also went down by over 58%. Mtetwa explains. Our ongoing review and measurement of crime statistics inform us that there has been a decline in both the number of cash in transit heists and the cash loss. Whilst we may be pleased to learn about some of these declines, we still remain concerned. We acknowledge that some of these successes were achieved through, a, through the contribution of private security industry. Catch the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak Option 1.